Hello! Until now, we considered only the current market situation when building scripts. That is the situation at the time of closing the last candle. What if the strategy involved an assessment of what happened before? How do we look into the past? How do we describe a combination of several candles? How do we find out the value of any indicator, not now, but for example an hour ago? For all this, TS Lab provides the ability to refer to the previous values. Let's figure out how it works. Stay in touch with us. I am Sylvia from Alga Trading Lab and this is my colleague Pavel. As always, let's start by creating a new script. I will call it Prev Value. Open it for editing. I immediately delete these blocks, they are not needed yet. To begin, we will choose the instrument to work with. Go to the properties of the script, move to the Sources tab, click on the Instrument Selection icon. Let's take something from the cryptocurrencies, namely the classic Bitcoin. Go to the Script tab. Here I propose removing all the restrictions on the amount of historical data and applying a higher time frame. As until now, we have only worked with a 1 minute chart. It is going to be 30 minutes. OK. A 30 minute chart loaded. Let's start with what we already know and describe a bullish candle. We will need these blocks, a Boolean expression, close, open. We connect them to the source straight away and write, close more than open, OK? I'll plot the chart as a bar chart and make the candles more visually appealing by filling them in. OK, we seem to be able to complete such tasks and everything looks fine on the chart. All the bullish candles are highlighted. But what if we want to describe a situation where there is more than one bullish candle, for instance two or three bullish candles in a row? That's where we need to refer to the previous values. The vocabulary here is very simple. We just underscore brackets after the block name, the past value of which we want to receive. In these brackets, we specify how many candles back you refer to. For example, in order to describe a combination of three consecutive bullish candles, you need to write the following. One bullish candle, which is already described, this is the last candle. Then you need to add end and describe the penultimate candle. The expression will be the same, but in the square brackets we have to put minus one, saying that this candle should be one candle earlier, that is before the last. Two candles in a row have already been described, and now we need to define the third candle. Here it will be the same. Close minus two is more than the open minus two. OK, we have now defined a combination of three consecutive bullish candles. Let's check it on the chart. One bullish candle, two. On the third candle we can see a signal. One, two and the signal on the third. And so on. We can refer to the previous values of not only some elements of candles, but we can also refer to the previous values of indicators and in general almost all blocks. As an example, let's take a moving average. This time, let it be an adaptive moving average. Suppose we have the following task. To find out how much the value of AMA has changed in the last 10 candles. How do we find this value? We take the formula. And in the formula from the current value of AMA, we subtract the value of the moving average 10 candles back. 10 candles back, it will be minus the ninth candle from the current one. OK, I'll take another chart panel and plot this on the chart as a histogram. The positive values will be green and the negative values when AMA decreases will be red. Run. 
Here we can actually see that from this candle up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this one. From here to here, the value of the moving average increased by $19.31. Thus, it is possible to describe some impulse movements or trends. For example, here we can see a sharp increase in the value of 10 candles, which tells us about the impulse upward. Or here, for example, we see the opposite situation, which speaks of a downward impulse. Back to the editor. What if we want to make this parameter optimized? That is, we want to be able to automatically sort through different values instead of manually setting them fixed. This can be easily done with the help of a block constant. In essence, this unit is just a number. However, thanks to this block, instead of setting this number rigidly, we have the ability to change it in the process of optimization, which we will learn in the coming lessons. Now, if I put 9 here, Let's first rename the block to k. So if I put 9 here and then replace minus 9 with minus k, essentially nothing will change. The logic will be the same, just the 9 will be replaced here. But because we use a constant block, in the future, as I mentioned, we will be able to automatically go through other values and select the best ones instead of this 9. But there are some tricks. If we refer to the previous value through a constant, we might get an error. Let me run the script so I can illustrate it. Run, and we see the message, index is out of range. What is this error related to? The error is related to the fact that the formula cannot refer to the past value of the moving average on the first candle of the existing historical data, since the past value merely does not exist here. Hence, the program tells us that the index of the required candle is outside the existing history. That is, there is simply no data for this candle. If we return it as it was and just put the 9, then TSLAB is able to cope with such situations. It skips a specified number of bars, that is, simply does not calculate the formula in the first 10 bars. But with a constant another block, it does not know how to handle such exceptions. It doesn't know how many bars should be skipped, because the constant is a variable thing. Therefore, we have to specify ourselves how many candles we need to skip from the calculations of the formula. For these, the formula properties have a begin with parameter. It allows TSLAB to start calculating the formula only from the candle you specify. For example, if we now put 10 here, then the formula will be calculated only from the 10th candle of the chart. Let's try, run. We see that everything has worked again. If we go to the beginning of the chart, then we will see here that nothing happened in these 10 candles. The formula was simply not calculated. But we didn't get an error and everything works fine. Therefore, when you use a reference to a previous value in formulas, do not forget about the begin with parameter and set its number more than the depths you can refer to past values. And you can do it with a margin. For example, nothing terrible will happen if I put a hundred here. Just the first hundred bars would not have any trades. When you have a test on historical data for hundreds of thousands of bars, this will not make any difference. One more thing. In the future, when you optimize this value k, make sure that the parameter begin with is greater than the upper bound of the search range. Suppose you are going to go over all the values from 1 to 199. It means there must be a value of not less than 200. Otherwise, there will be error messages, as we saw earlier. OK, we figured this bit out. Now let's try to create another script. I propose the following strategy. We enter a long position when we have three consecutive bullish candles. And all three candles must close above this moving average here. We exit the position when there is downward momentum. When the price drops by $15, let's try to put everything together. Maybe we will come up with some other additional conditions along the way. So, 
First, we will describe the setup in the Boolean expression. We have already defined the three bullish candles in a row. There are no problems here. Close is more than open. And I will copy this condition right away and just add the indexes. Here in square brackets should be minus 1 and minus 1. Here, minus 2 and minus 2 respectively. We have described three bullish candles. Now we need all three candles to close above the AMA. Accordingly, we add the same condition, only instead of open, there will be AMA. Close is greater than AMA and the close of the penultimate candle is greater than the AMA on the penultimate candle. And here all the same, just change to minus 2. Let's check how it works. As usual, we put everything on the chart. And run. Everything seems to be working correctly. Three candles, all closed above the moving average. We can now add a block for opening a position. Find the position opening by market. We connect the condition to the middle input of the block. The top input, as always, is connected with the instrument. Everything is done. The position should open. Now we can add exit conditions. Closing a position by market if the price for three candles has gone down by more than $15. Add one more Boolean expression block. How do we describe the decline in price? We need to deduct the closing price of the current candle from the opening price, which was three candles back. This will be minus the second candle from the current one, and the resulting value should be greater than $15. That is a fall for three candles for 15 or more dollars. OK, as usual, let's put everything on the chart. run, we can see that we got quite a lot of exit signals. Let's reduce a number a little, taking the value of more than 15, for example 30. OK, it's less cluttered now. Going further, position close by market, connect and connect. Checking now how everything works, everything seems to be working properly. There was a signal to enter, here we closed out the position. Entry, here exit by market order. OK, I will immediately turn off the labels so they do not clutter the chart. Well, that's all for now. Hope you found this lesson useful. Share your thoughts, post comments and likes. If you like this video, Please subscribe to this channel. Why not become an affiliate and get the most of your traffic sources? Spread the word about our TS Lab courses and get amazing rewards. We are delighted to offer you our profitable and beneficial affiliate program. Anyone is welcome. It takes only three simple steps to become an affiliate. Check out the details on our website or click on the link below this video. Thank you for watching.